Here's a quick tip for anyone that uses the Rhino sewer hose drain support system or any other similar system that uses a tray. The Rhino system uses the thin metal legs that you see in this picture. Those legs allow you to level the tray or, or provide some slope under a variety of conditions. While using this tray, I found several things that just are sort of annoying to me. First, you typically need to use more than one of these trays, usually two or three. So what that means is, instead of just inserting four of those legs into the tray, you're inserting eight or twelve or, or maybe even more. It's not difficult to do, but it is a little bit time consuming and getting the tray level and adjusting all four, eight or twelve legs takes a little bit of time. If by chance you need to get a tray up in the air to its full extension like you see in the pictures here, then those legs are a little bit unsteady and the tray becomes wobbly. I found another way to uh, level the tray or, or get the proper slope in the tray by not using these uh, spindly legs at all and to use leveling blocks. Usually you have some of these left over or maybe you have all of them left over and you never use them if you get a really level campsite. So what I found is if I uh, put those leveling blocks underneath this tray, it's quicker, I can stack them up, it's just more convenient, and uh, I find myself not even using these legs unless I have to put maximum height in the tray, and it's just uh, more practical to use a couple of legs at one end of a tray than it is to stack up six or eight blocks to get the proper slope. If you don't happen to have any spare leveling blocks laying around, I've also found that firewood seems to work fairly well. If you found this tip useful, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.